So I just came back from the Fantastic store for the first time, which is operated by Blowout Cards. I'm up here in Herndon, Virginia, uh, doing work. So I figured I'd stop by and of course I got sucked into buying things. Uh, I bought the Panini Prism Baseball Hobby. For some reason I like this a lot. I did a bunch of retail stuff with this earlier. Um, this Game of Thrones box is for my daughter's mother, my fiance, and this is just something for fun. But in this video, I'm gonna break this $45 box of Stadium Club um, soccer. And I noticed that this is 2017 and I didn't think about it in the store, but it says here that most redemption cards carry a two year expiration date. So maybe that's why this was only $45. Maybe everything in this is a uh, redemption, but let's find out. Hopefully that's not the case, that would suck. But at $45, at least I didn't lose too much. I was kind of happy that they were open with all this COVID stuff going on. I was afraid that I would go over there and they would be closed. But it's a nice store. Uh, I bought some supplies while I was there, boxes, um, penny sleeves, things like that. All right, so 16 packs, there's supposed to be two autos. Let's see what we find. The funny thing about me opening soccer is, I don't, probably could name three soccer players if I really, really thought about it. like some kind of Tim Howard insert. Yep, P2. I gotta say that the, the Stadium Club cards are a little dull. No foil, just uh, paper. Just glossy paper. Kind of expected a little more out of them, but I wasn't really expecting much for $45, so. I have no idea what's worth anything in this. I figured I'd just buy it. Oh man, I don't like how this opened. And whatever the hits were, I'd look up and see what they were worth. Probably ain't worth nothing really. I like doing this because this will probably help me uh, figure out who who's good in soccer and maybe I can get more familiar with the sport. Keegan Rosenberry. Some kind of portrait. That's probably what that P stands for on the P11. recognized personally yet. Scoreless streak. Chris Seitz. incredible how unfamiliar I am with soccer. This is some kind of gold. Gashi, Colorado Rapids. Oh, I wonder if these are all ML Major League Soccer. Okay. That's probably why I'm not coming across anybody I know because it's American soccer. Montreal Impact. David Bingham, I know that name. I don't really know much about him, but I know the name, I've heard it. <laughs> I didn't even realize it was Major League Soccer when I bought this, that's funny. Is this supposed to be like a Sapia parallel maybe? 
black and white. Still no auto. since they're from where I'm from. I don't see any insert at all in there. If there's anything... No. That was the first one we had no insert of any kind in. Or maybe there was like a picture variation that I don't... I'm unaware of, I should say. Profiles, not portraits. Profiles. Oh, hopefully we're saving the, the autos for the last two packs. Second scoreless streak I got Tim Melia. Must be some goalie card scoreless streak. It would be funny if it if it were the goalie thing and then like they put a non goalie in there as a joke. I don't even know the position in soccer, so. left <laughs> and I haven't had an autograph yet so I don't know how we did it but somehow both of these packs should have autographs in them and if they don't I'm going to be highly disappointed there's the first one Harry Ship, the Seattle Sounders. Hmm. I guess they actually do print that top surf autograph issue on the card, so. Yeah. All right, let's 
see who our second auto is. Oh, it's a Sapia, Jack Harrison. Don't know Jack Harrison, but he plays for New York City. Here's the Jack Harrison, not autograph. Not Sophia. All right, so let's see. What are the chances of pulling? Uh, oh, it's black and white, not Sophia. So one in four on the regular ones. Autograph parallels, black and white, one in 31. That's about one in every two boxes, or a little less than two boxes, but. So I got a one in two box of base autographs, one in of every box. I don't know if I got any member only or first day issues. If I did, I, I overlooked them, but. Anyway, that was pretty fun uh, to open. I guess these are the names I should have been looking for, Dempsey, Villa, Howard, Altador. But that's that. All right, hope you enjoyed watching.